Welcome back, everybody. This is our third segment of Seven Minutes for Seniors. I am Chris, and this is Jennifer Aiken. Very good. So we're here at J. Aiken Law. Uh, if you missed the first two segments, go back and check them out. So this is where we start having a little bit of fun, oh, right? I not like that fun. not to talking to you about elder law is not fun. To me, it's fun, but 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 we can <laughs> we can have a little bit more fun. So when you are not here, being Jennifer Aiken Esquire, mm -hmm. right? What's one, what are your hobbies? <laughs> so that's this is my favorite question. There you go. There you go. <laughs> because in my office team, Will, they hate me because of this. I play tennis. A lot. I play a lot of tennis. Um, I play competitively. Okay. So um, I have league matches on Tuesday mornings. Um, I'm also the captain of our tennis team. Have you ever played against Emily Hicks? Who does she play for? I don't know. I oh. interviewed, I don't even, she didn't tell me what team she was I on. I play for Marsh Creek. Okay, all yeah. right. So she's up in Ponte Vedra. So maybe so she, we do play teams in Ponte Vedra. I can't imagine like law so and much. tennis. Like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so tennis every day, tennis on your mind. Almost every day, yeah. I, I play tennis. Um, I hang out. I love. I do like hanging out with my kids. Right. Yes. And um, we have we get out on our boat a lot. Yeah. Yeah, but mostly tennis. And you're not a golfer. So my husband's a big golfer. Right. That, uh, that's why I was curious because I know he's a big golfer. Uh, and, but... You know, he grew up in a country club and played golf and did all that. And uh, I grew up in upstate New York. You know, yeah. it wasn't a big thing. And uh, when we joined uh, Marsh Creek, it was mainly, I thought, I'll learn to play golf with you. Yeah. You know, and I had played tennis in high school, but I signed up just for some little tennis thing on a Saturday. Man, I hit that ball. And yeah, <laughs> it's the play. same thing with golf. I think yeah. it is when you make that that first solid contact. And you've probably experienced it as a novice golfer. Like when you make contact at one time, you're like, oh boy, I could yeah. be on tour, yeah. right? <laughs> like you'll be in the U.S. Open. <laughs> so do you watch tennis as I well? Do, yeah. I do. I love the game. I love watching it. It was fun watching Rafa and uh, uh, what's his um, name in the at the Olympics. I didn't watch that. No. No. Oh, I didn't expect. I just didn't expect to see to see two singles players go so Together. deep. Yeah. Yeah. So they did a really good job. Wow. What, after not having played together but right. then they also played individual as i well. heard that yeah yeah it was really fascinating wow. i didn't get to watch a lot of the olympics no it was on during the day yeah exactly yeah and if you were trying to watch it at night then it was bouncing back and forth yeah, between different I things just, and like i said i'm not good with technology so trying to figure all that stuff out yeah. yeah so all right so tennis tennis kids boating boating running running yeah. Are you a marathon or a half marathon? I used to be. A, I ran a, a one marathon in Madison, Wisconsin okay. years ago. I was like the sixth last person to finish. <laughs> but it's cool. I finished there. Yeah, right? exactly. You know? Yeah. And uh, I've done a couple half marathons. I used to do the Gate River Run a lot. Okay. You know? But with kids, after I had my third baby, it's just hard. Yeah. The bridge is a bear. <laughs> yeah. I love that bridge. Yeah. 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 All right. So, uh, so we got the hobbies out of the way. Tell me something surprising about you. Well, a lot of people are surprised about my major. A fashion, I was a fashion, fashion major. Fashion major, yeah. Um, I'm not surprised. It, like really? now that I know that, I mean, yeah. every time I see you, you're always like Thank you're always you. dressed very nicely and Thank everything you. like that. So, um, I like to um, write rap songs. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so I don't. So I will write. Like we do a lot of. Uh, I, I'm on the board of directors for the Academy of Florida Elder Laws. Right. So to start some of our conferences, I'll rewrite a rap song. Are <laughs> you, you know, kidding me? Elder so Law. literally, you got to drop some bars on people. No, I can't. Do that. Come on, come on. What's the worst thing that's going to happen? I can't remember. I'm trying to remember the last one I did. Uh, we did. Uh, we did one with Snoop Dogg. Like gin and juice, or it was, like, uh, was it, what was it? Too? You know the la 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 la, and then my colleague Twyla Sketchley, who's an amazing guardianship elder law lawyer in Tallahassee. And I was like, la 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 la, da 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 da, it's the one and only Twyla Sketchley. And then she came in the room. Right. And she was like, da 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 da, I'm here with Jennifer Aiken. And we're like, and we're here to open up the elder law. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Is this on video it's on somewhere? Video. It's on, really? I can send it to you. It's on my Facebook page. This is awesome. I might yeah. just I might just cut in you with a little segment it. of yeah, that right into this. It's really fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I just, I get motivated. 
still, this is one of my favorite questions. I love, I love this question. I find out the most uh, interesting things. So are you the person like at the light that I'm seeing, like yeah. bouncing around in the car, wrapping up? Yeah. I've, I've always, I was always had the joke that like I worked in a nursing home when I first okay. started out and it was always like these Tony Bennett's and Frank Sinatra's yeah. and everything, which was a lot of music that I grew up with and it's beautiful music, right? right? But someday when our generation is in those same facilities, we're going to be singing some of the most terrible lyrics. It was so funny. My my six-year-old, I don't know where he got this, but he never stops talking. But we're in the car and he goes, Mommy, have you ever heard of Ice Ice Baby? And I was like, just stop. <laughs> <laughs> like, mic drop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, that's going to be our generation's yep. legacy. Uh, back, back, uh, bad tribal tattoos oh and and, uh, and rapping along to uh, to questionable lyrics Snoop from our childhood. Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre. Yeah. Did you did you see Snoop at all during the Olympics or did you I see saw him, you know on like Facebook feeds? Yeah. And stuff, but I loved how he was hilarious. like such yeah. a focus. So if we thought he was he was everywhere in Paris, he's definitely going to be everywhere in L.A. He um he was a, when we did our rap. You know, you know, he has like grandchildren and mm -hmm. he's a really dedicated grandfather. We did all this research on it. That's hilarious. So, yeah. Well, there you go. That's something surprising about <laughs> Jennifer Aiken that I never would have guessed in a million years. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's Thank so you. cool. Hopefully, I got that cut in there. I'll with send her. it to you. <laughs> it's really fun. This is going to be great. Uh, this has been our third segment of Seven Minutes for Seniors. I'm Chris. This is Jennifer. Thank you very much. Thank we'll you. see you all tomorrow. Bye.